Okay, so here is another video that will surely make you a better PowerPoint user and animator along the way. Let's see what we're going to be working with today. Um, we have two slides and let's go right into it and run the presentation. And as you can see, I have a, practically a, a, an empty classroom here. And then I just bring in a teacher that will be explaining uh, the topic and why is he dressed like that, do you mean? Well, because my topic has to do with the Maya. Then the whiteboard will support the idea of uh, that the teacher is trying to project and a picture comes in from the Maya. Then a nice title. You can notice that the title is actually behind the teacher. And finally, uh, an assistant that will help along the way. Then a ripple effect to go into story mode and I have this background that will help me out uh, project my idea and the idea is I need this character which which just came into the picture and that is a, a Maya priest needs to talk to the gods because things have turned out to be extremely cold and not very pleasant to live in. So I need some type of um, communication among the priest and the gods and I'm gonna bring this ray of light here into the picture to try to give the idea that there is communication between the god and the priest and then after the communication is over slowly but surely things come back to normal this is uh, an easy effect and I'm about to show you how everything just uh, occurred what you need to do and how you can get this accomplished are you ready let's do this okay so I'm gonna show you the um, what I did by using the same um, the same PowerPoint show that I have just run for you and just explain us uh, a couple of things that are important here first um, I'm gonna go into the select uh, menu which you will find under the home uh, tab then you're gonna go to select and then selection pane and this is quite important for me when I'm doing my animation simply because this tells me the amount of objects that I have the arrangement where in which I have them and how everything works now if I just click on these eyes, I make everything disappear. And now I'm going to show you how things were done. First, uh, behind everything, I put the picture of Amaya, which will serve me for my classroom design. Now, how is that? Well, I have a classroom here, which is empty. But this white part that you see on the whiteboard, that is actually PNG format. That means it's transparent. So this will show anything that I have behind it um, on the, the whiteboard. So if I just click on both these, you can see that this is here and I'm going to move this to make you look at the transparency much better. You can see how this works. Now, why is this important to me? Simply because I need the order of my objects to be in the right place. Then it's followed by uh, the title, which I need it to be behind both the, the assistant and the teacher. How so? Because if I bring the, and I'm going to do that now, I'm going to uh, click and drag the title up to the front. And you can see now that the effect of this being behind my presenters is lost. So actually, I need this title to be behind both my teacher and presenter. Let me show you what happens with my presenter. According to my selection panel, I have my presenter here on uh, option uh, on the second level. That means that this is actually behind the teacher, as you can see when I drag it. And should I want him or her in front of the teacher, then all I need to do is just click on the selection pane um, accordingly, and then I would have her in front of him. This is just for you to work with layers and know how important they are so that um, you can make your slides look even better. Now, going back, going into my second slide, which is the big effect of 
uh, making um, making this go really cold and then coming back to normal. Let me show you what I did with that. I'm gonna take away all the layers. I'm working with one, two, three, four, five layers here. Now these layers are practically the first three that I used. Picture two, that would be this background. Then all that I did was copy paste it so that I would get this effect on it. Now, how did I get that effect on it? Let me show you. Um, whenever you want an effect on a picture, you would just click on it and then you would go to format, then color, then picture color options. And then you're, you have something that's called temperature here. If I bring it down or to the left, if I drag it to the left, it's gonna become really cold. If I drag it to the right, it's gonna become really hot. That means more, uh, more orange and to the left, more, um, more blue or bluish. Now, since that's the way that I got that picture to be that way. Now, the only thing that I did was, actually, let me close this. All that I did was, okay, copy paste uh, an exact replica of this picture. Then uh, I put it on top and then I gave it an animation fade for five seconds. And actually what that did was just bring the color in slowly so that, so that it gives you the impression of changing into a very cold environment. And then I brought in another copy of it, but this time back to normal. Again, I faded in for five seconds and it came for five seconds and it came back into normal. Uh, then uh, on top of that, I animated a um, priest that came in and finally the light that would reflect his communication with the gods. Now the animations, how would they go? First, uh, the priest comes in because remember that I would have only the back image first. Then I would um, animate the cold uh, picture coming in. Then I would animate the uh, sunlight ray, which is a PNG image of a sunlight ray. And that would give me an imaginary scenario of the priest communicating with the gods. And finally, an exit one, which is fading out um, for half a second and having the last one come in, the last copy of this background come in so that um, it would fade. Let me see the animation for this. Uh, it's gonna fade in with previous for five seconds. So the way that it would look is this. It comes in, I only have the, the background image. Then the priest comes in. Then on, then the next animation is my picture with the cold. Uh, but it, since it's so slow the fade, it gives you the impression of just turning cold. But I'm actually using a second uh, picture that is placed exactly on the same position. And then comes the light rays of communication with the gods. And then when I click, I click an exit for the light rays and then come and a fade in for the third and final picture, which is that way and everything comes back to normal. Okay. Um, I hope this helps you uh, create better effects for your presentations. And I'll see you next time.